Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Pueblo in the Southwest. I'm going to take one finger in the center and right above that I'm going to put a dot. And from the dot going to the right, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line to the right. Go back to the dot, slightly wavy line to the left. Now, two fingers on the left, put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. On the left hand side, inside, I'm going to put one, two straight lines and then on top I'm going to draw a little bit longer line over the very top. Up here in the right corner I'm going to draw one, two, three, four straight lines and make a box. And at the top I'm going to draw straight diagonal lines going across. Now we're going to make overlaps so the next section, I'm going to draw a straight line going down, connect, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Inside, I'm going to draw one, two straight lines and draw that little line above a little bit over. In the upper right corner, I'm going to draw one, two, three, straight lines and a little line over the top. In this one, at the very top, I'm going to draw some dots. I come back to the right hand side and now I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Inside, I'm going to draw one, two straight lines and that little line over the top. I'm going to put some other straight diagonal lines growing across the top and right on top of that top I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines. On this section right here I'm going to draw one, two straight diagonal lines and now I'm going to fill those in with little tiny straight lines going all the way up. I'm ready to draw some more so I come over here where I stopped and I draw a straight line, straight line over, straight line down and stop. And then I come to this box and I draw a little straight line down, big straight line over, straight line all the way down, connect. I come inside and I draw my two straight lines, one, two, little line over the top. Come on the left hand side, straight line, straight line, straight line, little line over the top. And right on this right hand side I'm going to put one, two, three straight lines. At the top I'm going to add my dots on this section. Okay. Now I come to my long rectangle over here and I'm going to draw my two straight lines. Put my line across the top. Come up to the very top of the right hand side. One, two, three straight lines. Little line at the top. And on this edge I'm going to put straight lines going down. Last box. I'm going to draw a straight line out. Straight line down. And I'm just going to put straight line, straight line, straight line and add that line on top. And on this section I'm going to put one, two straight lines and add my little straight lines inside. And on this edge I'm going to put one, two straight diagonals and add my little straight lines inside. Over here on the left, I'm going to put a circle and now we're ready to color. Okay, this is the southwest 
So our colors are going to be mostly in the neutral shades. Everywhere I have these little boxes. These are my doors and windows. I'm going to make these brown all the way across. I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to color very carefully in between the slats of my ladders. That's what these are, little ladders going from top to bottom. So I'm going to do these all brown. Keep going, keep going. And right here at the bottom, I'm going to fill this in lightly with my brown again. Okay? We're going to make that sun a really dark, dark yellow. And to make the Pueblo, I'm going to use an apricot, or you can use your brown crayon, and very lightly color in all of these boxes. And that's so that it doesn't look so white. We don't want a white looking Pueblo. So this is that apricot if you've got it. If not, you can use a really light brown. Then we're going to use blue green. Don't forget to do the inside sections of your ladders because the whole background is going to be this really bright turquoise. As you can see, I'm doing my loop de loop line. Give it a little bit of texture. All right, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my Southwest Pueblo, all colored in, and that's it. Okay, bye-bye.